What's up everybody, welcome to Balkan Moto. Last time we ended up making the swing arm um, and lining things up. Uh, in this episode, we're gonna work on the triple tree and the forks. So let's take a look at the pieces of wood that we're gonna be cutting. Okay, so here we have um, uh, four pieces of 2x4 that I have left. And the two long ones are going to become the fork tubes themselves. As you can see, this one's already measured out. Um, and the smaller ones, I'm going to cut the uh, top and bottom yokes for the triple trees out of. So let's start with these, uh, since they're pretty simple to cut. Um, drill the holes for them for the um, bolt and the bearings. Uh, and then we'll move on to the forks. Okay, bottom and top yoke are drilled out, uh, so let's do a test fit with the uh, axle bolt to see how they fit uh, before moving on to drilling the sides for the dowels uh, and working on the uh, forks. Alright, and here's the triple tree. Once connected, uh, they feel pretty smooth to turn, uh, so that should be pretty good. Just gotta torque it down the holes and then in terms of the um, forks they'll be like so mounted on there at a 30 degree rake perfect let's take these back off drill some more holes and get on these guys a little bit of progress i made the holes for the dowels on the top mount i'm gonna line these up and then screw in a construction screw on the bottom side so that they won't pull out in any way. And then we're gonna drill the same diameter holes on the forks. So we can just mount things up and then again, attach it with the bolt on that end. The forks themselves, uh, here's the first one that I'm still working on, kind of being shaved down to the right shape. Um, I still gotta thin out the uh, this dimension of it. And this will mount essentially like this on the bike. So let's continue shaving this and I'll chime in afterwards. So the triple tree kind of looks like this and I got one of the forks shaved out and sanded a little just to round off the sides. And the idea is that it will attach like this and look like a real fork. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna drill some holes on it to make it attachable to these dowels on the triple tree climb. We also got to drill the hole for the other dowels in the bottom one. Uh, and we need to make some holes for the bolts on this guy. So there are going to be two in here uh, for the um, wheel axle. Uh, there's going to be uh, on the triple tree clamps, we're going to do bolts going across that are going to go through the dowels so that things actually stay in place. Uh, and there's gonna be one in here in the middle uh, to mount the headlight uh, um, bracket and a big one up top for the handlebar. So as this goes up there, uh, things will start to match up and make a little more sense. So first things first, uh, let's do the um, dowel holes on the bottom piece. Uh, and then we'll turn our attention to the fork uh, and start drilling that. So we have some progress. The left fork has been attached to the triple tree clamp. So I put the dowels, uh, screwed them in so they don't move, and I made holes on the um, fork to kind of slide them on. Now I'm just going to make holes for the bolts to anchor them in place so they don't slide out. Um, and. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of what it's looking like in terms of dimensions on the motorcycle. We're looking at about that for the back and the front it actually isn't too far off. The With the bracket, it'll be kind of like here. So that's more or less the size of it. I also cut out the uh, handlebars. So the handlebars will be, well, if we turn that, about EA wide um, and they'll go through this top part of the fork so I need to draw another hole but uh, all in all that's kind of what it's looking like 
Let's get these drilled out so we can put the bolts in and anchor that in place. Okay, and with the fork firmly attached with the two bolts, this is what we're looking like. It's actually looking real nice. Um, now, uh, the remainder is to drill another hole here for the um, light um, frame. I uh, need to drill two holes this way uh, for the bracket down here. Uh, so that we can mount the same type of bracket as this one um, for the front axle. And the hole at the top for the um, handlebars, which will be like that in there. Um, okay, um, and then I gotta make uh, essentially the exact same uh, fork for the other side and mount it the same way. But for now, this is really good. Let's continue on with uh, more drilling and more. All right, and this is what the bike is looking like uh, with the uh, fully assembled forks. Uh, we have the handlebars in place and it turns. I did a temporary wheel axles with wooden dowels just to kind of get a sense of what the bike is looking like. I also ended up mounting the rear <coughs> top mount for the shock. Now we just got to build the shock that goes in between. I may need to rebuild these two little pieces down here just because this one cracked. Uh, but that's uh, nothing terrible. Everything is kind of disassemblable down there. Um, yeah, so uh, the bike pretty beefy looking. Uh, quite happy with how it turned out. In the next, next episode, we're probably gonna take a look at building that uh, rear shock. Uh, maybe getting started on the headlight, which would be pretty simple to cut. It's just a bunch of circular cuts uh, out of plywood that are nailed together or screwed together. And uh, uh, yeah, so then what remains is the rear shock, the headlight, the tank, the motor and the exhaust, and the uh, seat. But so far so good. Um, something else to mention here. Um, for the uh, yokes, the dowels that I did, I mentioned before I put screws in so they don't move. And the dowels go into the uh, forks and these nuts actually go through the dowels. So there's no pulling it out. Uh, as for the handlebars, just a, a hole to fit the handlebar dowel and then again two screws at the top to keep it in place so it doesn't slide out. I need to buy some grips to put on these um, and uh, yeah I pretty much ended up sanding it a little bit just to give it a little more rounded look and you can see how beefy the front end looks especially with these big tires. Uh, right now without the wheels I'd say so far it's probably about 20 pounds in terms of weight but Still lots to add to it and uh, measure the final weight. Uh, the wheels are pretty heavy because, well, they're big and the uh, steel uh, rims quite, add quite a bit of weight. But at the end of the day, this is not something that uh, someone should be jumping with. It's something that you should be rolling down the road in, so, which I hope would be pretty fun to do. Anyways, uh, make sure to subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications when your videos become available. Check me out on Instagram at bakunmoto2018 and check out bakunmoto.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.